In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight for practice exam number one for Math 1220. We're asked to set up the integral to calculate the volume of the region bounded by the curves y equals sine of x, y equals zero, x equals zero, and x equals pi uh, that is rotated about the x-axis. So we're looking at a solid of revolution here. Let's first consider the region in play. So if we sketch the x-axis and the y-axis like usual, um, notice that the line y equals zero is just the x-axis. The line x equals zero is the y-axis. And then x equals pi, uh, that's gonna be another vertical line in the, uh, over here. So let's put something like this on the screen. I'll label it for good measure, x equals pi. And then we look at the curve uh, y equals sine, uh, for which sine is gonna do something like the following between zero and pi. It's gonna go up, reach its maximum pi halves, and then it'll return to an x-intercept at x equals pi. So the region we're considering has gotta be this region right here, okay? Uh, we want to rotate this thing around the x-axis like so. So a typical, well, we have to make a decision. Do we want to use the, the disk method or the shell method? I think the disk method would be a little bit cleaner here because a typical cross section would look something like the following. The thickness of this cross section would be a dx. I definitely want to integrate with respect to x because as there's a sine of x involved, if I integrated with respect to y, I'd have to do an arc sine. Eesh, that would be, that'd be a lot more challenging. Um, so we're going to take this and rotate it around the x-axis, forming a then a disk. So by the disk method, the volume will equal pi times the integral um, of the radius squared. The radius is going to be the height of this rectangle. And so using this point on the curve x comma y, uh, we're, our, the height is going to be the y-coordinate, but we're going to integrate with respect to x. Um, since we're integrating with respect to x, we're going to go from the far left of this picture can go, which would be x equals zero. And then the far right that these rectangles can go would be x equals pi. So we'll integrate from zero to pi, like in that manner. Um, I do need to get rid of the y, but given that the curve is y equals sine of x, the height of this rectangle is given by the sine curve. And so that tells us that the volume would be pi times the integral from zero to pi of sine squared x dx. Remember, this integral is what we have to set up. We do not have to evaluate it. So even though there might be some trig identities you could use to compute that thing, that's not what this question asks. It only asks us to set up the integral. And when we do so, we end up with what's seen on the screen.